Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another super quick Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are starting on my website, hlmodtech.com, and that's because the user we're helping reached out with the sweet built in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Of course, friends, while you're out here, you can also check out all the awesome categories and the sweet beginner lessons. Don't forget also, there's a link up here to the Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. So friends, here was the request. How do I get this to be two lines so that I can use it on my CNC router? Or I like to do these on laser cutters. Now, a lot of people would have said, alt shift back in the day and then you try and get it so it lines up but it's really difficult with a shape that is like this friends watch this because this was an imported svg we can now click on outer line and it immediately gives us the two lines so we've got an outside line and an inside line now you do need to make sure that you do d to drop so it's on the bottom you can adjust the quality to make it as smooth and round as you want. You can also change your measurements. So right now it's got a line width of 5. If I make it 8, then it spreads it out even further so there's more of a gap in between it. You do need to give it time to catch up with your request though. Boom, there is my larger one. Now I would not want that because they're almost touching. Let's go back to 7. Real quickly, I'm also going to let you see different corners. Right now, it's set for sharp. If I switch it to round, it'll make it a little more smooth. And you can see how that adjusted. There's all kinds of options as you experiment with what you want for all of your corners on your brand new project. But friends, it is that simple because you brought in the SVG. You have all those options to make something unbelievably cool. I'm going to rename this real quick cross and then I'm going to export it as an SVG again so I can bring it into my laser cutting software. I am going to store it in my 3D modeling folder. And now friends, watch this. If we import it into Lightburn or whatever you use to work with your CNC machine or your lasers, you have got all of those lines to play with. Notice when I click the inside, I could give it one setting instead of a line. Maybe I would do that one with a fill. And then this outside, I would make be a cut. So you'd end up with a sweet cutout cross with an awesome design filled in on the inside. All of that available to you using the sweet new fill mode that is built into the Tinkercad import. Friends, there you have it. That's how easy it is. I do want to give a huge shout out to Nick. Oh my gosh, thank you for asking the question because so many times you guys get me started on these cool projects and then I get to share it with the world. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, Add it down below, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.